how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you for returning back here to watch my videos. I really appreciate much for your love, for your support. Don't think that I take it for granted. But if it's your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And you subscribe, click on that notification bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel. So dear friends, in our today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a video that I know it is going to help you very, very much, especially you who is on online dating apps searching for love. You who always watches my video and when you see a success story, you'll be like, Bella, what is wrong with me? Where am I going wrong? I've been on online dating apps for so long. I've tried everything, but still it is not working. Can you please tell me what is the problem? Maybe the problem is me. <laughs> so you have been writing like that in the comment section. I've been seeing your comments. Also, some of you follow me on Instagram at African Bella to ask me, Bella, where am I going wrong? So in today's video, guys, you're going to get the answers of where you have been going wrong on online dating sites or apps. And that's why you are not finding the right guy. Also, at the same time, I will be telling you what to do so that you can make things right so that you can find that white guy achieve your dream you know you have been praying to find the one and that's what i've been praying for you too because you know i love you so much and i'll be doing this video out of love talking to you as a sister who truly truly loves you so if you have been asking yourself where am i going wrong and maybe you never wrote any comment or coming to my instagram but this has been your question whenever you see a success story you'll be like how do they do it and what is that thing that i'm not doing right which is stopping me from finding that right guy and guys you know that experience is the best teacher so i've been guiding lots of ladies that have found love on online dating apps and some have not found love yet so when i tell you you are doing things the wrong way here i know what i am talking about so it is up to you to take my advice and succeed or just you know continue doing things the way you are doing them <laughs> which will make it hard for you to succeed. So without wasting much of your time, guys, I know this is going to be a game changer for you on online dating apps. Let us jump into it. Number one thing that you have been doing wrong is that you have failed to differentiate a quality guy from any other guy on online dating sites or apps. So you go to the dating apps and we take an example, you are interested in a white guy, but when you start searching and maybe guys start reaching you out to chat with you, you give them your time without you sitting down and analyze, is this guy really a quality one? Just from the few things we have been communicating, can this guy be a quality guy? No, you go ahead, you get excited, you start start thinking maybe you have found the one and the relationship keeps on going before you know it it's a year and after that one year then maybe this guy outsmarts you invites you in his country you're over the moon oh my god i found the one arriving there bad things start happening to you but where did you do the mistake from the start when you started communicating with that guy you were supposed to first sit down and think yes i'm searching for the right guy but how is this right guy supposed to be how can i notice this guy is the right guy i gave you a guidance i uploaded a video it is here on my youtube channel told you how to know a guy 
is seriously interested in you on online dating apps or sites so watch that video it is going to help you so much and not only you go into his country some of you you chat with these guys you don't concentrate well to see if this guy is really a quality one and after wasting so many months you come to find out that oh my god the guy was married <laughs> <laughs> he had a wife or he was just you know passing time so we should really be very very careful while searching for love on online dating apps let us search for quality guys when i say quality guys i mean it so now i'm going to take you through the steps for example if you are on the app searching how to search for that quality guy so if you are really searching for a quality guy on online dating sites or apps because these guys exist okay we have seen lots of success stories people are happily married and they form these guys on online dating sites so for example i'm going to be taking an example of afro introductions which is the best online dating site so far with lots of success stories so you are on afro introductions and you are searching for a quality guy then you receive a message from a guy what are you supposed to do if you are searching for a quality guy you are not supposed to run and respond to this guy's message right away no you are supposed to first go read his profile go into his pictures i told you while looking at this guy's pictures on that dating site concentrate on the background sometimes you can be browsing through guys pictures on online dating sites and you find really strange strange things in the background <laughs> I don't know you know liars most of the time they forget so you might find a guy has taken a picture and when you look at the background or in the background you see a baby's stroller <laughs> so from there if this guy is consistently sending you messages you have to ask questions concerning that oh i saw a stroller whose stroller was that but at the same time when you start communicating of course you have to make video calls and confirm what he told you about that stroller but guys concentrate on the background of his pictures that is number one after looking into his pictures if you are searching for a quality guy you have to go to his description most guys when you go to their descriptions <laughs> it will tell you don't respond or it will tell you respond to this guy you might find maybe a guy is too complicated for you or a guy is appearing you know very much no or a guy is just appearing confused read through careful no need to be in a hurry after reading his description that's not enough go into what this guy is searching for on the dating site or app most guys they will straight away tell you they are searching for submissive women or they are searching for a very dominant woman <laughs> some will be like i have a very high sexual drive so when you start seeing such kind of stuff in what he's looking for in a woman it will clearly tell you that that guy is not a quality one but guys it does not end there these days you all know sometimes you go through a guy's profile everything is good his photos are <laughs> his description what he is looking for in a woman no red flag but when you start communicating you see things going really badly a guy behaving badly and you'll be like why is that the profile was maybe guys you forgot to check if you guys are a match for example on afro introductions there is a place where they show you when you click on a guy's profile <laughs> on the side they show you how you are a match and how you are not a match they have got two colors one is in green and another one is in pink the green ones means that if you see green lines 
that means you guys match so you can just count how many things you match and if you can compromise the things that you don't match where is this all information coming from the information is coming from what that guy filled in in his profile when he was registering his profile his interest his personality and also the other information is coming from you your profile your interests your match the things that you're looking for in your match your personality everything so when they combine them together they get the results that hey these things you are a match and these things you are totally not a match but i know most of you have been ignoring that it's time to really look into that if you are searching for that quality guy you have to be serious don't go to the dating sites and be in a hurry you know to write messages to send likes and that's it no look into things very very deeply yes i know it takes time but this will help you find a guy that you really match very very well and you're not going to find surprises for example if you check a guy's religion you are a christian and then you go to check this guy you know how many things you match and when you look into his religion this guy worships satan so that way even if that guy sent you a message he wants to get to know you you'll be like no i don't want to date a guy who worships satan i am a christian i am looking for a christian man i told you also on the pets most white guys have got like weird weird pets for us africans i'm talking as an african lady so some of these white guys have got reptiles in their houses <laughs> as pets so if you go through that match section you will notice that this guy wrote down that he has got a snake as his pet or a crocodile or a lizard <laughs> So it won't be a surprise after chatting with this guy for so many months and then out of blue you find out he has got a big snake in his house. <laughs> no, it won't be a surprise because you knew already. You will be like, how is your snake doing? You know, <laughs> I know it will have its own name as you chat if you'll accept a snake if it's not a problem as a pet so guys be very very careful please please you're going to really save your time and you'll get that quality guy trust me so i am still on a quality guy another thing guys you're going to ask me but bella you have talked of guys that have good bios they have written something in their profiles but exist guys that have got very cute cute photos but when you go to their bio or their profiles what they have written in there nothing so what can i do if a guy like that sends me a message should i block him should i ignore him because you know i'm searching for a quality guy <laughs> so what you're going to do there do not ignore his message if he sends you a message but what you will do first when this guy sends you a message and then you respond to him you start communicating make sure he answers all afro introductions questionnaires that he waived <laughs> when he was registering his profile yes be strict guys write down all the list of things that are very very important in that questionnaire that you are supposed to know so that after he responds of course you will know that oh yes we are a match or we are not a match you are going to avoid chatting with guys and later be disappointed yeah so i have talked you looking into these guys profile you know what he filled in when he was registering but at the same time you too i repeat guys make sure your profiles are complete because if those profiles are not complete it is going to be hard for these dating sites dating apps to bring up your matches when you click on a guy's profile to see if you are a match it is going to bring something else or they're going to be bringing you guys that are not even your match so 
fill in well the personal information they are asking you because that profile is supposed to reflect who you are yeah and that's how you find a quality guy a guy that really really matches you so guys we are going to go to online so you click here online and when you click online of course they're going to be bringing you the men who are online uh, if you didn't know when you want to browse through men's profiles on our introductions and you want to chat with only guys online you just click up there when you click online then all guys that are online at that time you'll see them that's why you see this green dot you see this green dot green dot green dot all these are online so what i want to show you is we got to see how you match with a guy so for example um this is a guy's profile you come here i told you a green dot it means that you match like how many things you match uh, this when you see this color it means that those are the things that you match if you see pink that means you're not a match not a match so here <laughs> only two things that this lady matches with this guy uh, that the lady is a female and looking for male and also lies in the age range that she is searching for so yeah and you are seeing all this because uh, she has not yet finished um, filling in her profile yeah but i was just showing you an example whenever you click on a guy's profile run here after receiving his message and see so you'll get to see lots of things about this guy the hate ethnicity everything body art appearance wants children doesn't want children where does he live the religion everything have pets you see like here have pets no pets occupation we see full time he put his salary language and all that yeah so let me hope this was helpful to you and it will help you like do a very quality search like you find that quality guy so dear friends another thing that i want to help you is on how to see if your profile is complete because you have to make sure your profile is complete guys never leave your profile incomplete so you click on the photo click on the photo sign after clicking on the photo sign just edit my profile click on edit my profile then they're going to bring you here up here you see the photos this lady's profile is not yet complete so she added some photos you need to add at least five photos so still not yet not yet much not yet interest not yet personality not yet and you also need to verify your account it's important guys because when you verify that's when men who come across your profile they know you are a real person okay and it also protects your account from being suspended by our introductions yeah so so with the profile we have talked a lot about this how to set your profile with the match this is all about what you want in a guy you know a guy who will be your match so they ask you questions and you respond uh, you're seeking for a male country then we got the appearance so make sure always you fill in all this don't be in a rush guys do not be in a rush fill in all this so after that we are going to go to something else which is interest i'm taking you as fast as possible so you also click in here that's why i told you don't lie when it comes to these things these are your personal things that will help after introduction match you with a guy that is your perfect match you write much so you fill in all this if it is something that uh, entertainment it's what you like you just click on the box beach crafts family and when you are done remember always to submit okay always submit because when you submit that's when they update it 
We go to personality. This is important. I've talked of this. Most of you, I know, this place is blank, as we see here. <laughs> yeah, so you have to write in something. What is your favorite movie, favorite book, food that you like, music, hobbies. Fill in everything manually because there is nowhere that you have to click and it's automatically comes there. No, you have to fill in everything physical appearance, sense of humor. You might ignore these questions, but guys, they have their reasons to why they asked you these questions. So when you're done filling in all, submit. Now we go to the verification. I told you verify your profile. So you click on verify profile and these are the requirements. Upload a scanned color copy or photo of your identification and get the badge. So these are the things that they accept. Accepted identification. You have to show your passport or your driver's license or your national ID card. Okay, once you show that, they are going to verify your profile. So that's how we do it. And because I haven't done anything else, just showing you, I told you this is a new account. So you see, it is still showing. Nothing has been done. Once everything is done, you won't see this sign here anymore. This sign, it won't appear. It will not appear. So guys, if you have filled in everything, uh, let's take an example that your profile is 100% complete. That's when the guy they're going to be suggesting for you or the match they will bring to you, they will be according to how you had filled in your profile. So that means on the match, interests, and personality. Yeah. So it's also important. And also if a guy has filled in everything, uh, the profile is complete. So when you click on his photo, while you are browsing through men's profiles, for example, for example, we click on this cute guy. He's a from Palestine so when you click then you come here and you will see they're going to show you you go down and start going through so you see male female like male female but the country where he lives in it's not what this lady is looking for so they show you no match and by the way, guys, as I was recording this video, something happened. I was like, okay, it's time to show them because I've been getting this question a lot. Bella, what if a guy sends me a message and he sends his WhatsApp number? What can I do? So I'll show you what I responded to this guy politely. But if he is really a serious guy, he is going to respond to my question so here he said it just came in today if you are in the uk feel free to add me to whatsapp this is my number definitely i'm going to be closing this number and i said this is my response my response hi mike all right we'll surely add you thank you by the way sorry got a question I see you're searching for an open-minded black woman. What do you mean? Don't feel offended. Just curious to know. Thank you, Mike. So, why I responded like this, I told you when you find like I'm looking for an open-minded woman, I also noticed this guy is adventurous. So before you go ahead, exchange your WhatsApp numbers and then later on, you come to find out him saying looking for an open-minded woman are those guys that are you know they like the back door wherever you know very weird things or saying i am very adventurous and he was like he's, he just go back from kenya so maybe he's looking something you know as an adventure so i need to understand well before i exchange my whatsapp numbers with him 
yeah so let me hope this is guiding you well when you find yourself in a situation like this so on a quality guy let me hope here you have understood but of course i'm still here i'll keep bringing you more tips let's move to something else that you are doing wrong on online dating sites or apps and that's why you have not been succeeding all these years so guys number two that you have been doing wrong 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 on online dating sites or apps and i have been noticing this a lot is that some of you guys have failed completely to take your time to know a guy on a deeper level this is so so important when you are searching for a quality guy a guy that is going to be your husband you are supposed to take your time never be in a hurry when you are on online dating app searching a guy writes to you what you need to do is to take your time to know this guy slowly by slowly one step at a time don't start asking this guy lots of questions wanting to know this guy in just one day that will not happen it will only put pressure on this guy and he will ask himself why is she in a hurry <laughs> okay <laughs> i remember giving you a guide too on this how to chat with a guy step by step questions to ask when you start communicating and then after that what follows and i told you when you start communicating with a guy don't go so deep you know the first day should be very very light no more things getting to know each other's hobbies things that he likes in a relationship you know weather you know culture <laughs> <laughs> yeah family a little bit not so deep and then after that some other questions will start to follow and others and others after a week or two that's when you'll be like hello i see everything is going very well between us what is your next plan so that you can see how this guy reasons if he reasons as you expected or not but wanting to know him in a day no guys no 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 that's when a guy loses interest and you see them disappearing when they disappear you come and be like you see bella this guy was so good to me everything was going very fine we chatted so good yesterday but you see these village people <laughs> They have made him to run away. What can I do, Bella? <laughs> no, you made a mistake. Take it slow. You can't tell a guy day three, when are you inviting me? When are we meeting? Not at all. I told you at least within three months of communicating. Okay? That way you give him time to get to know you and you too, you take your time to get to know him on a deeper level but on the other side we all know yes this is a good guy he's gonna run away because he feels pressure we have another guy that is a bad one and in his country exists these white guys especially you are interested in white guys in his country for example he's an american no american woman will take that guy the way he is his behavior how he treats women maybe he's very very toxic he's not respectful so cause he heard black women are so calm they accept everything he goes to the dating sites he's not stupid he won't concentrate on a lady who knows what she wants he won't concentrate on a lady who is looking for a quality guy he will go for a lady who doesn't know what he wants who does not have enough experience on online dating sites who is desperate who is in a hurry to get married who is in a hurry to be with a man and he's going to talk to you he is going to seem very serious you will be on a race and he will be on the same same race then he is going to marry you my sister after that it is hell life 
I've had stories whereby a lady comes, you know, I talk to lots of ladies, guys, all over the world. So a lady comes and tells you, Bella, I'm married, but I am in a toxic marriage. I don't know what to do. I can't go because I have got kids. Where will I go with my kids? And after listening to her, you know, as a woman, I tell myself, you know what? That guy was so, so clever to choose that woman. Because if he found me as Bella with my crazy head, <laughs> you start treating me bad. The marriage becomes toxic. I'll spend the whole week looking for the way to escape. I won't stay, you know, I won't say that I don't have anywhere to go. Of course, I will find where to go. But that lady will stay because that guy chose him perfectly <laughs> with her character that I can manipulate her the way I want. I can treat her the way I want and she will never get the courage to go because of the way she is. So I'm telling you, dear beautiful ladies, please please when you are on the dating apps or dating sites searching take your time to know a guy on a deeper level and if something does not sit right with you right away in that relationship or communicate with that guy and tell him no here i don't agree number three where you guys have been going so wrong on the dating sites and that's why it has been really difficult for you to find that right guy is that you have been using your challenges against you using same same challenges to tear you down using same same challenges to put you into a depression yes why am i saying that i've been getting lots lots of messages and you see these ladies complaining, Bella, maybe I'm not finding the right guy because maybe I'm too light-skinned. <laughs> and white guys, you who are searching for white guys, are searching for dark-skinned ladies. Guys, if I ask you a question, you who watched Natasha's video, Love Story, is Natasha dark-skinned? Natasha is light skinned. I remember sharing her photo on Instagram and everyone was like, oh my God, is she white lady? <laughs> no, she is light skinned and she found a white guy who loves her so much, who adores her. So you being light skinned, actually it's not a problem, but you are using that as an excuse. You are using that against you to make you give up more. Then we go to another category, Bella, I'm a single mother and I don't think I'll ever find a guy who will accept me with my kids. You guys that watches Mariana's video, Mariana is a single mother of seven and found love on online dating sites. She succeeded because she did not take her being a single mother of seven children as a challenge and she did not use that against her or to tear herself down. No, actually, it made her strong. So whatever situation you are in, you did not go to school. Some of you be like, I did not go to the university. Guys, that has got nothing to do with searching for love. I want you to know that. Put it in your head. Please, please stop using all these challenges against you or you who have been in very bad, bad relationships, please, please let go, move on. Stop continuing torturing yourself. I remember there is a story I shared with you here of a lady who used to take her challenge. She was a single mother of one, got abandoned by a white guy, and she was in a very, very tough situation. But it reached a point this lady wanted to take her life was like, Bella, no, I better take my life. I can't handle this anymore. I told this lady, whom are you going to leave your child with? How is your child going to grow if you take your life? I think what you need to do is to stand up, 
go look for a job. I was like, Bella, no jobs here. I told her, you will find a job. I'm very, very sure you will find it. Whatever job, important you get money to feed your kid. So I gave her an idea. You guys who are Tanzanian, you know Posta. So I told her, go to Posta. There is lots of offices. Go to those offices. Talk to people, tell them your problem, that you are a single mother of one, your child needs to eat. Single guys who wants a lady to help them clean their clothes, their houses, they should give you that job so that you can save your child. And I'm very sure you will find the job. After you have found that job that you are able to feed your kid, then you can go to the dating apps and such. And I told her I'm not a prophet, but I told her the day you'll find a job, you will find the right guy on online dating apps. She was like, really? I told her, yes. Guys, after some years, lots of years, five years of struggling, you know, me guiding her and all that, eventually found the right guy. And as I'm talking right now, she is eating life, very happy. And I think she has even forgotten what happened in the past. So don't use your challenge against you. At some point in life, we all go through a lot. Guys, I told you I'm an orphan. I've been through a lot. And also even coming here, something really happened to me. I remember being in the hospital for two good months. Guys, I don't know if you have ever been in that desperate situation. You have people around you, but still you feel lonely. You know, being in that situation whereby you are very scared and the only name you can call is God. I don't know guys, if you have ever been through such kind of a situation, one time I'll come here and I'll try to tell you what really happened, but not now because I've set my own goals, you know, a certain goal of course of ladies who have succeeded on online dating sites, I will tell you, sit down and chit chat. Yeah, because it is not all about online dating or what, it is something else. But at that time, I was really in a very desperate situation. I remember kneeling down, praying everywhere. Even in the bathroom, guys, I could kneel down and call the name of God. And you know what, guys? I saw God's miracle. So that's why when you see me coming here, telling you, keep praying, God is able. There is nothing God cannot do. It's true, guys. There is nothing God cannot do. Even last time, I remember there is a lady I was talking to and I told her a bit of what happened, what I'm talking now. It's because when I talk about it, I get emotional due to the goodness of God. You know, the hand of God in my life. Yeah, so she was like, oh my God, Bella, now I know why you are such a strong woman and why you have been insisting that we should trust in God. But guys, through all that hard situation, through that challenge that I was in, it made me a strong lady that I am today. I did not take that to tear me down. So whatever you are going through, whatever challenges you are facing on these dating sites, please, please don't take that against you, but be strong, keep moving forward, and eventually you will succeed. You have got your own problems apart from the dating sites, dating apps, your inner problem. Please try to find that inner peace. Try to heal because without you healing fast, you cannot move forward. You cannot. It's hard for you to find love. So if you are still hurt and you are on the dating sites, you are doing it the wrong way. So let's continue, guys. I don't want to make you sad. I just want you to be that strong woman. Okay. Number four on where you might be doing things the wrong way, guys. You are wasting so much time to compare yourselves to others. I told you one time, if you are following any YouTube channel or any Instagram account, but whenever you watch whatever they post, it makes you feel like you are not good enough. It makes you feel like you are so unlucky. It makes you feel not at peace. Stop following that account. 
and subscribe. Even if it is me, you're following African Bella, the real talk here, but maybe my content doesn't bring peace to you, please unsubscribe because mental health is very, very important. The things we see on social media, maybe interracial couples posting, it's because they want those things to be seen, but there are some things they don't show you. So don't go and start comparing yourself, you know, admiring these couples. Oh my God, I wish I could find a guy like that. Start to be obsessed of these interracial couples. Every interracial couple you come across, you are into them and you think maybe life should be perfect the way you see them on social media guys things are not like that there are some couples you might be admiring we have seen them I'm not here to mention any names of these interracial couples I'm not someone who would you know throw shades or start saying a lady was wrong a guy was wrong i don't know because i wasn't living with those couples but exist some couples that everyone here on youtube they were admiring these interracial couples everything they were showcasing was perfect perfect but what happened after we saw these people divorcing so imagine if you are the person obsessing about these couples and maybe somehow made you unhappy then years after you hear they divorced of course you're going to feel very stupid so there is no need to waste your time to compare yourself with any anyone in this world you are god's masterpiece okay and i told you if you are searching for love focus on you this is about you girl this is your life to add on this i just talked of how god is able that there is nothing he cannot do and i told you you have to pray when you are online dating sites searching and you are a believer you believe in god don't forget to pray but how do you pray dear sisters not by complaining, you know, kneeling down every night, crying, God, why not me? Every time I go to Bella's channel, every time I check on her Instagram, she has a success story. But I've been here, it's six years, it's three years. I'm facing only losers. I haven't come across a quality guy. Why not me? No, don't pray like that. Actually talking like that to God, it's so ungrateful because even the breath that you are breathing right now, it's God's blessing. You should be grateful. You should thank him for that. So talk to God. For example, when I was single, oh my God, I don't know. Today I'm getting so emotional. Yeah. So when I was single, I told you my struggles, you know, how I faced lots of challenges. And at some point I could go to the churches, you know, to pray. And the things the pastors could tell me, they could leave me confused. I remember being told I've got a very dark shadow surrounding me and every relationship I could be in, it could not work. So what I could do guys, I could kneel down to God and call God. Tell God you are the father and the mother of orphans. The things that these pastors are telling me, I know God, you are the only one that can save me. God, please free me, free your daughter. I want to find that true love, settle down, have a family of my own. I pray and I believe, amen. I kept on praying to God to break all the chains i didn't waste my time but why are they telling me i've got a dark shadow surrounding me not at all i didn't complain the relationships are not working no i prayed to god to show the light at the end of the tunnel and he did guys he did so when praying Pray to God to free you from everything, the evil spirits, you know, bad eyes, the village people. <laughs> yeah, pray for purification, pray for protection, pray about your man. And once you get him, also keep praying for him, put him in God's protection. Let me hope this was so, so helpful to you. Number five, that you have been doing the wrong way on online dating sites or apps. 
Guys, most of you have seen this. You concentrate a lot on the looks and the age. Yes, I did a video and I talked about the age difference. But you find a lady is in her mid 30s. And this lady tells you she doesn't want a guy in his 50s. Because the guy is 15 years older than her, then that's a problem. That guy is an old guy, they don't want him. Guys, I'm not pushing you to marry older guys. Guys, I'm not pushing you to marry guys that you don't want to marry. But stop exaggerating. Because every day you kneel down, you pray to God to bring a right guy, a guy that will love you truly. He brings a guy that is 10 years older than you, that is 15 years older than you, and you refuse him. Of course, you will keep being single. Yeah, because God brought a guy and you said no, because he's 10 years older than me. God, I don't want him. <laughs> And sometimes I ask myself, when you go to these dating sites, what are you searching for really? Because a guy comes, he is nice, and then, no, he's a bit shorter than you. No, 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 no. I'll never be with a guy who is shorter than me. I want a guy that when we stand, he is taller than me. <laughs> Will his tallness make that marriage work? No. Will this handsome guy with six packs <laughs> make the marriage work? For example, he is cute, he has got six packs, you know, he's juicy. <laughs> but he treats you bad. Oh, he's a lazy guy, you know, who wants you to only work for him and he stays at home and plays maybe the like video games. <laughs> Will that marriage work? it will not work so stop concentrating a lot on the looks of course we cannot ignore the fact that you have to be physically attracted to the guy so that <laughs> when you eventually get married you have to enjoy the goodies you feel the connection because you are physically you know attract to that guy but let's stop exaggerating when it comes to the age when it comes to the look because you might be losing lots lots of chances because of that i don't know you but sit down think about it and take actions please please <laughs> number six of the things that you are doing wrong and that's why you are not finding the right guy with this one i won't say most of you no i'm going to say some of you you guys can lie oh my god i didn't know this I really didn't know until it happened to me. There is a lady, I matched with a guy, and before matching that lady with a guy, I had talked to that lady very, very well. Because when a guy comes, of course, when he watches the videos that I uploaded on matchmaking show and he feels like, no, his match is not there, it doesn't match what those ladies are searching for, then I bring some other options, of course, after talking to some ladies that I think maybe they might be a match. So there is this lady, I matched her with the guy, but before matching her, of course, I had to interview her, ask her some questions and all that. When I was sure that, yes, this lady matches what this guy is searching for, the age, wherever, everything. <laughs> you know, there is a specific age they want and everything, okay? Just like how you guys are searching, yeah. So after matching her, hmm, this guy comes to me to tell me, Bella, all you told me about the lady before matching me with her, it wasn't true. Because I came to find out a different story to what this lady told you. And the good thing, it's not that these words were from me. No, no. I screenshotted a description of this lady, everything that, you know, she was telling me. And I sent to the guy before matching them. And that's why the guy was like, I would like to get to know her. So it's not that the guy was doubting me. Maybe I told him lies. No, because he had seen the screenshot of her description. But go. Going to date this girl, he came to find out that all that she wrote on her description were lies. 
and i am very very disappointed guys because lies has got short legs you can't run far eventually these men will find out the truth and they are going to leave you so better be honest with everyone don't tell this person this story and then the next person the other story and then bella the other story no be you be honest it's very very important guys one of the things i really really hate is someone to tell lies lies will never help you please be honest write the truth about you and that way a girl will be attracted to you just the way you are not from the lies that you wrote down or from the lies that you told bella and then later he comes to find out a different Thing. please please dear sisters i'm telling you all this because i really love you i don't know you all but i'm saying if you know that you have got that problem of telling lies stop it please because it's going to be difficult for you to find love on online dating sites or apps number seven that you might be doing it the wrong wrong way from what i have been observing <laughs> some of you guys don't want to level up don't want to go out of your comfort zone when you come to bella she gives you an advice guys i did a video here and i was telling you how to take cute pictures how to know you know your skin tone and i know some of you that are watching this video now you don't know even what is your skin tone but you're here complaining i'm not finding anyone you don't want to change you're okay the way you are but my advice as a sister can you please try to go out of your comfort zone do something and trust me you will see the changes some of you have come to me we have worked on your profiles we have worked on colors and i remember some of you telling me oh my god bella you have helped me to know the colors that suits me good <laughs> <laughs> but later you complain i did everything you know i changed even the colors but i did not find the one be thankful that at least you came to know your skin undertone which helped you to level up when you put on outfits they look good on you everyone compliments you that's how you raise up your self-esteem stop seeing negativity in everything <laughs> Even in something that it is still challenging, see positivity. Cause without being positive, guys, I told you this is the real talk. If you're not positive, your search on online dating sites will be bad. You will have a very, very bad experience. You are going to fall into a depression and eventually you will give up. Recently, there is a video I posted and I was telling you my baby who was talking to her friend who found love online and this friend was telling her, for me, I found love after leveling up after investing in myself so start investing in yourself start taking care of yourself when i tell you take cute pictures yes put some efforts into it take those pictures but don't take the pictures and it ends there no you keep on taking care of yourself no matter how your salary is small i told you exist secondhand stores you can get very very cute outfits important you know your body type how to dress it colors to wear girl you will glow so when you start loving yourself taking care of yourself even if you go to the dating sites and then the guy tells you you are ugly of course you'll go to the mirror start looking at yourself and be like i've got a very glowing skin <laughs> I dress very, very well. I'm happy inside. Is this guy crazy? Ugly? Who is ugly? <laughs> and that way you will keep moving forward knowing that I am beautiful. I've leveled up. I'm so confident in myself. I can find love. So do things that you have never tried out. Okay? <laughs> Starting with you and also dating sites. I told you, you don't need even to wait 
for Bella to tell you what dating apps to try. No, go on Google too. Start searching. You will find new dating sites and learn how to use those dating sites or dating apps. Maybe your luck is there. So be someone who is always looking for information, someone who is ready to level up, someone who is ready for a change. That way, all will be fine. Trust me, eventually you will find that right guy that you are searching for on online dating apps or sites. Number eight, which is the last one, but I'll come back here and tell you more next time. But for today, we are going to end here at number eight. Some of you are convinced, you believe that being on online dating apps for so long means less chances to find the one. But it's not true. If you have been on the dating sites for so, so, so long and things have not been easy, don't be like, I should just give up. If I stayed for five years, if I stayed for four years, you know, three years, two years I've been here and I haven't found anyone, why should I keep on searching? Let me just give up. No, 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 no. Guys, you who watched Chick Slayer's love story, you remember the day she wanted to delete her dating profile account on Badu, it's the same same day she found Leandro. So you too, maybe this month, you planned to just delete your account on the dating sites because you have been there for so long, do not delete it. Please, please, keep hanging in there. Being frustrated, I know it's normal, you know, we are human but stop worrying a lot for some of you you worry so so much sometimes i talk to you and i feel you you know from the far but i can feel your pain i can feel your frustrations i be like oh my god i don't wish this lady to keep on being like this and some of you have even talked to you <laughs> yeah you worry a lot stop worrying because even if you decide to sit down and worry from morning to evening or you decide to sit down and search for love from morning to evening. If it's not yet God's time, you can't fight that. Please pray to God to give you more patience, you know, to keep on searching and to bring that right guy as soon as possible. <laughs> but stop worrying. It will not help you. It will lead you to give up completely which i don't want to happen i repeat if you want to take a break take a break and when you are very energized maybe in your break you didn't find anyone come back and start all over again don't give up on love don't give up on yourself please please dear sister so we have come to an end of our today's video i really appreciate much 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 your support your love may god bless you please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video don't forget to subscribe please please if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.